with just 13 days to the March 4th general election. It is all systems go for the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, despite a cloud of legal battles over the inclusion of names and candidates in the final ballot paper. The Commission has admitted that indeed some areas may hold the election of certain seats beyond the March 4th date due to legal challenges. Hassan Mugambi has that story. With just about two weeks to the general election, it is now clear that this crucial exercise might not take place in the right time in some regions in the country. The electoral body is seemingly not out of the woods yet, bearing the fact that it has to deal with court orders requiring it to include or remove some of the candidates from the ballot papers, which have already been printed. IBC Vice Chair Lillian Mahiri Zaja however says this will be a Herculean task since it will require the electoral body to place fresh orders of the ballot papers to be printed abroad and flown into the country in time for the elections in two weeks time. Areas which are likely to grapple with the nightmare are Kuria East and Bahati constituencies as well as the governor's seat in Kakamega County where fresh court orders were given on Friday. Elsewhere now, IEBC wants the case filed by a Kenyan voter seeking to bar observers from the European Union from taking part in the March 4th general election dropped. The Commission's legal advisor Mahmoud Mohamed Jabani says the case filed last week is a setback to preparations for the election. The East African Community ESC and the Election Observers Group ELOG have already deployed a team of observers countrywide ahead of the March 4th polls. The team of observers will monitor and compile a comprehensive report on the conduct of the election. This even as the IEBC published a list of all polling stations in the country. The commission has also confirmed the arrival of all ballot boxes for the presidential and governor's position with the rest of the consignment expected to have arrived in the country by the end of this month. For K24 News, I'm Hassan Mugambi.